Our mission statement is let our journey begin. So we want to incorporate everyone and like begin a journey together. So at Saga Kitchen, we're always looking for a new way to help our staff and be in front of all the innovation that we can find and we can put in here. Um, so we use a lot of robotic technology in Saga Kitchen. So this guy is called Lumo. He's more like a greeter, counter presence device. Also helps customers take selfies if you do a voice command. My name is Gilbert and I'm with Saga Kitchen. What really inspired me to start the business is that, you know, we want to unite all the, you know, I, I won't say underdog, but I mean, all the under resources, um, you know, food entrepreneur in the community. So we want to help them try to get a head start. Not even a head start, but just a start, like in this, you know, in business environment, I think it's helpful enough. So, you know, I immigrated here from China. 1993. So Alameda is the first place I landed because my all my family live in Alameda. I live three blocks away from from Saga Kitchen right now. So I'm really familiar with the neighborhood. I mean, it's so cool just to drive back here every day. Like I drive past my old apartment every day, and just to coming back to the community that I'm so familiar with, and try, and being a business owner here. I think it makes a whole new sense of like, I won't say pride, but a sense of like, you know, I mean, being involved, like, with being back into the community. I think that's really important. I feel like Saga should be a platform to, 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 to kind of collectively help different ent food entrepreneurs. So I was, I was just, our mission statement is let our journey begin. So we want to incorporate everyone and like begin a journey together. So I think, we really to kind of like we always remind ourselves with that mission statement that that that's what kind of keep us going every day but we are directly out facing our customer we are interacting with our customer we try to interact with customer for food for our code like culture we try to bring that uniqueness and a lot of times that um i like to incorporate like street fashion into our decoration like we want to share that hype beast culture with uh, with people that really into that or even people who, who knew nothing about that or people who have prejudice about hey those guys are just want to wear brand names and that's all they are but in fact there's much more deeper like culture than than just wearing a gucci shirt right in front of your chest so and i think the biggest um challenge for a small business that um is the resource that we have i mean we don't usually have like all the talent, especially for around us. I mean, for example, like even though we probably offer the same like competitive like compensation package, I can offer someone four one k, and I can offer someone fully health benefit and a competitive salary. But they don't necessarily want to work for me. Uh, I think a lot of people are looking for more probably like a bigger brand to work for. So I think the biggest challenge, especially during this time, is to attract talent. I won't just say workforce, but just talent alone. Not everyone makes it. I mean, you look at the, like, the percentage, like, it's astronomical. Like, I think, if I get correct, only 10% of restaurants actually made out after two years. That's so slim. It's in California, that's probably, that, that factor is probably greater. Because you're dealing with all the high labor, so, all my idea is like, hey, how can we maximize the labor and try to share the resources so we can create a community where, where everyone can kind of get their foot in the door and, and we can have an eco, like more healthier ecosystem. Like if you're looking at it, like you look when a brick and mortar, quarter million in California, it's like you can, you can do it without at least to start. That's not everyone's going to invest that though, I think at this beginning, so yeah. So far, what I'm so proud of my business that uh, that is my team. I think we stay resilient. I mean, my partners left three months after the business, so but we able to move for, forward and and I would say our business has grew ever even bigger since that. So I think resiliency is the part the biggest the proudest for my team and with 
without the team effort, right? It's the sense of achievement, right? I want to do something that's unique, and I've been working for a small and big company like all my careers. Like I always like, I'm, I won't say admire, but I always look up to like small business owner, like entrepreneur and business founders. I think it's a, the process is so cool. So I think what really drives me is like I want to create something on my own. Like I want to call Saga on my own. Like this is it and this is Saga. So, uh, our best selling product is definitely our sushi for right now, and it's our omakase set, um, and our uh, kaisen don. It features all our fresh ingredients, the fish we flew in every week. So, even though we are a small business, but we are really fortunate to work with a lot of big vendors. So, our fish, let's say for our tuna, is flying in every week. We flew in every week from, from Baja, probably Spain. So, we we have Japanese fresh fish every week coming in from Japan. So yeah, so I think that kind of propelled our, our brand and our, our concept since the get go. We are the team at Saga Kitchen, and we like you to come try our food out. Yeah.